One, two, three. Hello, you a happy boy. It's nine-year-old yeah. Toby yeah. that's worrying his owner. So obviously normally a very happy boy. I can see by that waggy tail, but tell me what's been worrying you. Um, or that. That. Yes, he does that. He bites the back foot and he really scratches on under the ear. Okay. Have you noticed over weeks, months, years that that's actually got more and more frequent? Yes, particularly the last couple of months. He's been waking me up in the morning crying out. Very quickly I can see in this consult that everything is pointing towards Toby having syringomyelia. Basically, their skull is too small for their brain. That brain gets pressurised, fluid then accumulates at the base of the brain in sort of cyst form. And as the disease develops, it does irreparably damage the spinal cord. They can become weak and even paralysed. It's a condition that we see a lot of uh, in this beautiful breed. Breed, yes. Oh, buddy. I can see the pain that this diagnosis is causing Marion, and it's absolutely gut-wrenching. Everybody loves Toby. Oh, bless. That's all right. I know. He's yeah. uh, been with me too long, haven't you? All right. It's getting just... a bit much, isn't it? Eh? There you go. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Oh, You're a good boy. There have you a go. I can't brush it under the carpet. I have to face up to it and deal with it the best way for Toby. What we need to do is to, to diagnose it effectively. Yes. And the best way to do that is with an MRI. And from that, we can see how bad his syringomyelia is. Well, we've had nine and a half good years. We're going to have another four, I think. There you go. Yeah, it's very upsetting. Now, I hear you say you want him to last four years. And, and honestly, I, it breaks I my heart know. to think that he probably think won't. That, yeah. But you won't suffer because your mum won't let you. Marion will now take Toby to the Royal Veterinary College. Even if the MRI confirms Scott's diagnosis, he's not about to give up on the little spaniel. If it does turn out to be syringomyelia, then the outcomes can vary so much. And sometimes, not every time, but with the right medication, they can live a fairly full and comfortable life. I'm not gonna let you guys down. All the best. Thank you. Very Thank you. much. Thank you. All right, I'll be in touch. Bye, chaps. Off you go. Well Get to escape the vet now. There See go. ya. Bye. Bye. At the Royal Veterinary College, Marion's King Charles Cavalier Toby is still air scratching uncontrollably as they wait for his appointment. Oh, steady, 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 steady. Come on. There you go. The very daunting coming here today with Toby because you know you're going to find out what is the matter. Reality is going to set in. But Marion is still hoping for a good outcome from the MRI today. Her cavaliers are a special link to her beloved daughter Jane, who died suddenly from a liver disease when she was just 29 years old. Once I was really low and I'm sat there, the tears are coming down, the dog just got on my lap and he's licking the tears from my face. And in the end, you have to laugh. They, they get you out of that down moment. So, um, Yes, they mean the world to me. They really do. How, how is Toby today? Good? He's, he's, he's good, yes, but he's doing plenty of that scratching and uh, uh, what have you, you know. So. The RVC's Professor of Neurosurgery, yes. Holger Volk, will be supervising calm. Toby's yeah. MRI today. And he's already met another friend. Absolutely. Look, look, he just can't wait, look. Would you mind coming with us? Yes, that's ahead? lovely, thank you. Final year vet student Madison is assisting Holger. Bye bye. I'm nervous. Anything can happen, but I just feel that he's in the safest hands with all the experts. I guess we can. We have to find out. We have. I, I haven't got a choice. The MRI uses an extremely powerful magnet to generate images of the body. It's the most sophisticated diagnostic tool for neurosurgeons to evaluate problems with the brain and spinal cord. 
It's quite difficult to win a war if you don't know who your enemy is. And that's actually one of the most important things for us as owners, and I'm a pet owner myself, to understand what you're tackling. You can see that there's a lot of fluid within the spinal cord, and that causes the clinical signs he shows, you know, the scratching, the yelping. It's a very classic presentation. So now we have to just find the right treatment for Toby. Holger will now give Toby's anxious owner, Marion, the news. Actually, what we thought, um, yeah. that's what Toby has. So oh, he definitely okay. has syringomyelia. Saying that, um, what is really important is that we treat him yeah. and not the image. Yeah. So even if there looks like to be quite a bit of fluid within the mm -hmm. spinal cord, he still walks around quite yeah. well. Yeah. So we just have to yeah. fine tune together with Scott um, the right medication. We will most likely not eliminate completely the clinical signs, but we will find a way to make you know those days when he's not so well a little bit better, um, and and he can have then hopefully a very normal life. And um, as long the other friend, his brother, is not uh, making his life sometimes a bit more challenging, he will be fine. I feel quite relieved, actually. <laughs> actually you know, yes, yes, it's yeah, it's positive, Good. and um, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. No. One of the most important things for us as humans is to know what we what we face, right? Yes. Now oh, we, uh, now no, we know, now we know that. what that, yes. that um, you know, Toby has, Syringomyelia, mm -hmm. and now we can actually tackle that. I'm sad that he's affected, but I'm glad I'm getting the answers. If you have the knowledge, you never know the next steps you've got to take. And the important thing is so that Toby doesn't suffer. Oh. All right, baby. All right. Hey, what happened? The beauty on being a vet is actually quite simple, is you can care for animals and you can care for people. There you go, Toby. We've seen inside your head. <laughs> and he definitely does have a little brain, doesn't oh, he? That's a lovely. beautiful little brain. Yes, clever like your mum, are you? <laughs> and I'm never sure what is the most important, but the beauty is that you can combine those two, and that makes it very special. It's time to go home. Come on. Here we go. Under Scott's supervision, Toby's new drug regime will begin immediately. The Spaniel will require constant checkups to make sure the disease and his pain are under control. There you go, there's a nice iris there. Do you fancy watering that one in? There you go, well done. There you go. Come on. <laughs> this is for Toby. All right, this is for Toby. Sit. It's also been four weeks since Toby was diagnosed with syringomyelia. There you go. Very good boy. Who's this? And Scott's dropping Who's in that? to find it's out if the Spaniel's Hello, new medication lovely. regime is working. So yeah. how have things been going? It's so good. It, and to be honest, it, it, he takes his medicine as good as gold. Um, doesn't matter what you do to him, he doesn't complain. You know, he's just just a beautiful dog. What I can see with him is that he's not scratching anywhere near as much no. as he was. And that's a very positive thing. He seems very responsive. You seem very reactive, don't you? You're happy for me to be here to see you? Absolutely. And I think that's what we need to harness. We need yeah. to make sure that your dog is happy and healthy every yeah. day. It seems to me that Toby is still living a full and, well, happy life. And all we need to do is accept that some days are gonna be bad days and he's not gonna be as comfortable. But as long as the good outweigh the bad, he's gonna be able to live for a good deal longer. There are some tough decisions ahead. Yeah. But in the meantime, let's enjoy what a fantastic, fantastic. dog he is. Oh, yeah. And how lucky he is to have such a wonderful woman like you by his side. Yeah. What do you think about that? We're just gonna make you as happy and healthy for as long as we can, yeah? I feel I'm in safe hands. I've made that step to make the quality of his life better. To be honest, you can't do any more, can you? You can come and watch your mum play bowls. Come on then. All right, come on Boys then. Hopes. And to thank Scott for his help, Marion's decided to share with him the other love of her life, lawn bowls. Can I welcome you to Ashford, Scott, and... Thank you. ...have a challenge? <sighs> challenge accepted. Go. Marion is quite the gun when it comes to bowls and I am quite competitive. 
All right, these feel I like lucky bowls. Grab your weapon and yep. put those bowls on the green. Okay. I'm really looking forward to this. I've been the expert up to now with the veterinary stuff, and now it's time for her turn to shine. Bend your knees Bend and the knees. You just step forward. Oh, blooming neck. Oh, Marion, you're a gun. Wish me luck. Yeah? Wish me luck. Wow, that's a, you've got a very nice action there. Oh, thank you very much. Absolutely rubbish. <laughs> the last few weeks have been really tough on Marion. There's been lots of medical appointments, lots of uncertainty, and lots of sadness. But what's really lovely is to see her, Toby, and even little Harry enjoying their time at the Bowling Green, just having some precious moments together, because honestly, that is the best medicine of all. Let's come and have a look and see. See how I've gone in my first yeah, bowls match ever? Absolutely. Well, there you go. You've got the shot. Unbelievably, I've won. I don't know how I've done it. Well, I do. It's called beginner's luck. Uh, Marion is such a great player. She's such a great lady, and it's been a fantastic day out. Mwah. Bless you, Marion. I suppose you'll be expecting a trophy. Of course. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.